Carbon. Today, let us learn another topic that is allotropes of carbon. First, the definition. It is the property of some chemical elements to exist in two or more different forms in the same physical state. So here we are talking about allotropes of carbon. So some of the allotropes of carbon are diamond, graphite, graphene and fullerene. So today let us learn about diamond and graphite. There is a structure of diamond. So here you can see students, carbon is, um, is having sp3 hybridization. So we all know atomic number of carbon is 6 and electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2s2 and 2p2. So here when we look at the um, hybridization here then we can expect carbon that is the valence shell being um, n is equal to 2 that is l shell and it can have four electrons so here in diamond mainly or rather we can after hybridization that is after excited state it's going to be um, there they would be four orbitals and each orbital would be sp3 so here um, since um, diamond is having uh, carbon in diamond is having sp3 hybridization there is this uh, unique property of tetravalency in carbon. So as you can um, see on the screen, every carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms. That's what we can observe in catenation also. So this makes diamond extremely rigid. So it has a very strong three-dimensional um, structure. And because of this, diamond also becomes one of the strongest non-metal in the um, on on earth so here are some of the properties of diamond in diamond each carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms forming a rigid three dimensional structure so traditionally because diamonds are so hard scoring 10 on Mohr's hardness scale it is and it is durable and hence it is used primarily in the application of cutting drilling and polishing so next let us understand about graphite Graphite is another allotrope of carbon, but in uh, graphite we can observe that the there there is uh, these sheets which are parallel to another. So graphite are mainly we can call them as um, they are mainly having a hexagonal shape and they are ha mainly having a sheets and they are parallel to another. So here you can observe carbon is mainly uh, in this it is sp two hybridized. So as again coming to understanding the atomic number of carbon, it is 6 and mainly when you look, uh, write down the configuration 1s2, 2s2 and 2p2 and here mainly after excitation, so this is 2s and sorry, yeah this is a 2s and then there is um, 2p. And here mainly, yeah. So after hybridization, one of the electron will be, I uh, will jump to 2p, and together there will be four valence electron. And out of this, only three will participate. Only three will participate in bond formation, and hence it becomes sp2. Now there is one more um, free uh, electron that will be present within the hexagonal um, structure. So that is the reason why graphite though carbon is mainly because we all know that metals conduct electricity and non-metals do not conduct electricity. But graphite is one exception because there is this free electron which is available in carbon and mainly when you look at each hexagon structure, this free electron is moving easily within the hexagonal structure and because of this, there is conduction of electricity. So this application has been, or this property of graphite has been used in the application of electrodes. So mainly, whenever we were conducting uh, uh, conductometry um, experiments or even potentiometry experiments, they are mainly, we are making use of graphite electrodes.
okay so and here because of this nature also we should understand that graphite is quite opposite to the uh, physical state of diamond wherein graphite is extremely soft um, and also uh, and whereas the diamond is extremely hard so now let us look at some of the properties of graphite in general graphite is used in pencil lead batteries as an electrode and it is mainly having a two dimension layers like structure this is about the topic for today thank you very much